Moms Every Day with Rachel Phillips. Weekdays at 11.24 a.m. Brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryDay.com. Welcome back to Moms Every Day. I'm Rachel Phillips. With me today, Dr. Ted Cook. We're here at the Newton Medical Center in the Emergency Department. Thanks for having us over. Glad to have you. Okay, so today we're going to try to help moms figure out how to be more calm and less stressed when we're coming to the emergency room. And the first thing we need to know is that information is going to be very important and we need to know how to answer the questions. Definitely. The first thing is have somebody who knows what's going on with the child, why the child's coming in, mm -hmm. preferably the caretaker that's been caring for the child. Secondly, we need to know what medicines the child's on, and thirdly, what they're allergic to and what type of response they had to that allergy. Okay, so just keeping all of that in our minds to have on hand if we need it. Also, when we get here, it's going to be kind of traumatic for the child. There are things we can bring with us from home to help make everything more comfortable. Definitely. We have... Um, diapers and such here, but the child gets used to having their own type of diapers. They may have reactions to various wipes. They know what type of, you know what type of formula they've had. And so bringing a bottle with formula, their diapers, their wipes, and some comfort item like a blanket or a toy really helps. And that really will make all the difference. Okay. Um, other children, we have siblings. If you're a daycare provider, you may have other kids. When we're bringing one child to the emergency room, it's best to limit it to just that child. Yes. The best option is to have one child because bringing all your children increases the risk of them coming home with influenza when they didn't have it to start with. And if that's absolutely not an option and all the kids have to come, bring another adult with you. Definitely. If you have somebody that can help care for them and keep them out of the flow of the ER, that helps. Perfect. Thank you so much. Lots of good information. And if you'd like more information, head on over to our website, momseveryday.com. For health, home, money, and more, what matters to you and your family is at momseveryday.com. 